Sport is an incredibly powerful vehicle for young people because it provides them not just with physical fitness, with entertainment, enjoyment, and also a sense of self-being and self-worth. Sport is a really attractive hook for a lot of young people. Um, it enables them to gain a sense of identity by being with like-minded individuals. And for those young people who have problems, often some of them drifting into youth offending, then it's a diversionary activity that's very, very valuable. So through some research we conducted with Loughborough University on the back of the Police Innovation Fund, of which Gwent, uh, Gwent PCC was a, was a key part of Newport Live Positive Futures programme, we identified 10 critical success factors. Street Games' role is to support those locally trusted organisations and to really make sure that communities where opportunities are fewer, and young people still benefit from the power of sport. Positive Futures has completely kind of changed my pathway and now I lead on the Friday night as my own little programme. So I've literally started from full circle and taken over. The Friday night is always quite a bad night for antisocial behaviour and crime. So having these projects in place, we have seen a significant decrease in problems on the Dufferin estate. I've seen how it has helped like the more troubled, challenging behaviour people. Um, it can it kind of gives them an outlet. It gives them somewhere to go that they enjoy. It's, it's a regular thing, it's a safe environment. They can learn some new skills, but they can also just learn to be part of a team instead of kind of everything they do has to be on their own. I find Breaks Down Barriers is a good communication tool between us and the youngsters and Positive Futures. So I like to think we teach them confidence and obviously teamwork. We give them role models. The older volunteers become the role models to the younger ones. So I try to show them what I expect them to do. These sessions are important to me because I get to see my friends more. Every Friday before this happened, I had nothing to do. And I had to stay in and I'm not allowed out. So that's why I'm allowed here to have fun. I enjoy coming here because I get to see my friends and it's fun and I, I, like, I like the activities because they help me concentrate. So what to say when I'm angry, they help me calm down and when I'm annoyed they just help me. A lot of them might be here playing football but then a lot of them become coaches, leaders within the same group mm. um, and then they go on to do maybe further things in their, you know, their own career. We've got a lot of younger children, so year six which is ten wanting to be volunteers which we've never really had before so it gives them the skills and the confidence to actually join in and coach their friends rather than play. The consistency of the sport programmes we advocate and people like Newport Lives, Positive Futures programmes deliver um, gives a young person multiple opportunities a week to go and connect with that sports coach, really develop a strong relationship and largely trust in them to have conversations which maybe they don't have in school or with parents or, or trusted friends. That face-to-face -face engagement with a young person is integral for preventing and, um, and I guess responding to some of those adverse childhood experiences as well. If you can stop young people turning to crime, you're not only helping them, but you're preventing others from becoming victims of crime, which carries not only its own trauma for those people, but an enormous expense for the public purse. Positive Futures has given me that chance, because if I didn't come along, I probably would never have gone into sport the way I have. Sport is important to us in terms of crime prevention and helping to turn young people's lives around.